It's not a scenario that many would like to think about. But China's two most recent military exercises have simulated a blockade of Taiwan. For an island country that relies heavily on imported goods, an actual blockade would threaten the supply of many essentials to 24 million people. According to Taiwan's Food and Agriculture Administration, 70% of the country's food is imported. While the majority of fruit and vegetables are homegrown, these have a short shelf life of only 14 days. As for animal products, very little is domestically produced. The only crop Taiwan produces enough of is rice. 1.1 million tons of it is in storage, which could last the country 10 months in the event of a Chinese blockade. But for other grains like soybeans, wheat and corn, Taiwan only produces 4% of its own supply. So these would not feed people for long. And when it comes to energy, virtually all of Taiwan's power comes from imported fossil fuels, coal, oil and gas. While oil supplies would last five months, coal would last 39 days and methane gas only 11 days. Taiwan is also reliant on pharmaceutical imports. 25% of the population, around 6 million people, have chronic illnesses. Over 1 million of them are dependent on medication with ingredients from China. Half of the ingredients for all of Taiwan's drugs are imported from its neighbor. So pharmacists here are pushing for a contingency plan in case of a Chinese blockade. But other than potential domestic crises, a Chinese blockade of Taiwan could disrupt a key link in global supply chains. Taiwan's crucial semiconductor industry produces 90% of the brains of modern tech. To prepare for any eventuality, Taiwan is looking to become more self-sufficient, working towards better food security by diversifying crops and encouraging people to buy local. The country is also pushing towards renewable energy, developing wind and solar power as it moves away from fossil fuels. It aims to boost renewables in its energy mix tenfold by 2050. So, 军事装备都没有办法阻止太阳升起来，没有办法阻止风吹进台湾。所以我们的再生能源包含啊，太阳光电跟风电，就是说依照这些地球物理条件而产生的电能，事实上就不容易受军事的封锁。As for drugs, to reduce its reliance on China, Taiwan's pharmacists are calling for the costs of ingredients imported from elsewhere to be made more affordable. 當然,它的價格會比較高,但台灣的電保應該要去努力,如果原料不是來自中國,給它比較優惠的價格。Should China's recent simulation become a real blockade of Taiwan, it would lead to a shortage of food, energy and medicine, putting millions of lives at risk. So as Taiwan ramps up its efforts to protect citizens from military aggression, a move towards self-sufficiency would be just as vital. Ethan Chen, Harrell Hughes and Sally Jensen for Taiwan Plus.